Everybody in the building, man, it's your boy Tony V2 Wild checking in once again, and we are at the range with a couple of goodies as you guys and girls can see today. This is just a few. We got the brand new Sig Tread. We brought the Rattler out because we recently got a brand new can for it that I want to test out. We'll talk more about that a little bit later. And then we have also this lovely brand new IC9 from LWRC. Then on the inside here. We got, we got a lot, man. It's been about, what, three weeks, Tim? Yeah, three weeks since we've, since we've been out here, bro, because the scheduling conflicts on my behalf and other things of that nature. But we also have the uh, Rainier Arms Wolf uh, Dusk 19 with the compensator. We got uh, one I'm looking forward to, a possible new EDC, the Glock 45, which we're going to put right here for now. And last but not least, my favorite of the bunch, the brand new Walter PDP Match Pro SF steel frame. So we got a lot to go on and get to, but before we gotta just test out real quick this uh this Rattler new can. Okay, so let's just uh try that out. All right, y'all. So we recently did a video, the Rattler paired with the SLX 762, um, which is the 308 can. And for the most part, you know, it's nice, but it is a little a little loud and we'll talk more about that because we're going to do a review actually on that we did re recently get in this uh silencer co omega 300 i am going to be replacing this little part here to make the flat cap so it's a little bit shorter but i want to show y'all the, the substantial difference in this can and how quiet 300 blackout can actually get we're going to do five supersonic and then five subsonic three four Five. How quiet? How'd that sound, Tim? Pretty that quiet? Good. Yeah, it was quiet. All right. Five subs. How'd that sound? Big difference. Big difference, man. And uh, <sighs> lovely, lovely. I've been waiting on this can for a minute. We'll be reviewing that can in the near future in all of its glory. So stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. So first things first, we got in the Glock 45 Gen 5, which we're going to be shooting today. And uh, I got real big uh, hopes and excitement for this gun. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, this is a gun that I've been looking forward to getting my hands on and try out for the very first time. So we got it in. We ain't even sighted in yet. We're gonna sight it in right now. But for the most part, I feel like it's gonna be pretty close to where we wanna get it. And we're gonna shoot this one. We got another Glock 19 clone as well. But of course, this is the 45, which is the 17 frame with a 19 slide. And uh, yeah. Let's just see how it is off the rip. Let it be known we also have the Glock performance trigger in here as well and it feels good. y'all right, so we just wrapped up the Glock 45 we we literally got in our last shots and then bruh one of the hollow sun, one of the screws out of my hollow sun came out luckily though even though it's out we shot it um just to see and it still held at zero with this one screw but it she she's she's good for now bro i'm gonna we done probably put a couple hundred rounds through her um we're gonna let her rest so that we can move on to some of the next items on the list um one that i can't no longer wait on is this uh match pro so this is the first shots this one we didn't side in either we did like we saw it we didn't side in the glock 45 and then we put, said cut and then went and sided it in so i'm going to shoot it first and then go side it in but 
I'm pretty sure she's gonna still hit steel. No pun intended. First shot. I don't even think I gotta get her sided in because the irons are pretty much co-witnessing. So uh, we're gonna see, but anyways, cue the B-roll. All right, y'all, so we just uh, finished shooting this thing and definitely, definitely, definitely a breeze. And I love it. Um, she shoots extremely flat. She's definitely heavy. Comp competition worthy, in my opinion. Um, still want to get, get a little bit more, uh, just dialed in with her. And, uh, fabulous you know i loved my my poly but there's obviously uh whew, that thing's hot there's obviously something just even more sexier about the steel frame so we'll definitely uh be having some more fun with this one uh, after the review with uh follow-up videos and all the above so stay tuned for that first off salutes to american marksman for always coming through and supplying your boy in the channel for the ammo they make things a lot easier for us, nine millimeter, five, five, six, 300 blackout, subsonic, like we just shot now. Everything you see is coming in from them. Majority of the time, sometimes we dibble and dabble, but you know, majority, about 90%, all through American Marksman, and with the code 2 wild, 5% off. So next up, we got the LWRC IC9. This is the one I've been waiting on, and uh, she takes Glock mag, so. We can utilize this mag. I also got another mag in here. My uh, Vector mag. I believe it's in here. We also got just tons of Glock mags to utilize for this bad boy. So we're going to have some fun with the IC9. First shots. We're running with the, R, the R9. It's only right. It's only right. It does come. Um, woo, that thing looks sexy. It does come with a thread protector. We screwed on a uh, tri lug. And we got the tri-lug adapter for the uh, R9, ambidextrous safety, all the above. <sighs> Let's see how beautiful she shoots, man. Ooh, oh my God. There's no recoil. There is no recoil. Hold on, bro. We got to do that one more time. There's no recoil. What the hell? That thing didn't, I didn't feel nothing, man. It feels better than when I shot it at Shot Show. I ain't even gonna lie. There's no recoil. I mean, look, I know it's nine millimeters, but with nine millimeters, you're used to shooting that direct blowback. So you feel a little kick, a little thump, like a little baby punch. This thing is like, it got like a, like a chunk, like a chunk, chunk, but it's not like, it's a soft chunk. It's like somebody put a pillow on, you, on your shoulder and I don't know, it just, it don't, it don't feel alarming or threatening at all, in my opinion, so. It is what it is, but let's check it out. We got, of course, as I stated, ambidextrous. So I could push that button if I want to. Come on, man. Look, I love my MPX. I'm not saying nothing MPX, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, we're gonna have to get you up out here we're gonna have to do a PCC showdown very, very soon, cause this thing is uh is is crazy. It's, I believe it's using like a delayed roller delayed some sort of gas unit. It's something not typical here, but it's using some sort of delayed gas that uh, you can feel is delayed. It's just no, it's it's no recoil, bro, whatsoever. Bruh, so we were shooting 124, I believe, and the 124 definitely got a kick to it, of course. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I just swapped over to 115s. Bruh, look at this. No, it's like, 
I'm shooting a 22 at this point, bro. And I understand, guys, I understand that we're talking nine millimeter, but I got nine millimeters, so I know how it's supposed to feel. And it just doesn't have no feeling in this one. Now I do notice it's not locking back with that 115 like it was on the 124, but it's crazy, bro. That 115 is crazy. All right, y'all, so we just wrapped up the uh, IC9. Definitely a fun, fun toy. Um, actually, also, I was mentioning the last bolt hold open. It is actually working. I thought it was not working. It was just not working on this specific magazine that I have a different spring in it, and it's like an extended spring, but on the OG Glock mag, as well as uh, the 17 rounder we have, as well as the Vector one, the last bolt hold open ran on 124 and on 115. So. This is something I wanted to uh, give a disclaimer on, but fabulous, fabulous gun. We're gonna do some follow-ups on there. Definitely uh, some, I wanna compare this one because this is definitely a brand new PCC that I think is going to definitely have some, some talks in 2024 moving forward. Next up though, we have the uh, Rainier Arms Lone Wolf, and this is the uh, Dusk 19R. It's comped, it's a Glock 19 clone, but it has a lot of Gucci parts in it. So we're gonna have some fun with this one now. Let's get it. And we have a brand new Met Pro Light uh, pistol red dot. I don't know which one this one is. I think this is the, okay, this is the MPOFR. So we'll be doing some reviews on that one too. So stay tuned. All right, y'all. This is my first shot with this one. Once again, we didn't get this dialed in yet, which we will, but uh, I just wanna see how it comes out the gate. All right, definitely can feel the comp there. I'm not gonna lie though, this sight is way, way off. So we're gonna try to get it everything in and we'll come right back to you. All right, so we had a little error happen with the, uh, it's not even the dusk. It's, I'm, I'm gonna blame it on me. I'm not gonna blame it on the optic or the dusk, but bro, my optic flew off. This flew off and hit me in the damn head, bro. I lost my screws and everything. Now I did, feel like I put Loctite on there. Maybe I didn't. I don't know, okay? But with that being said, we're now gonna move on to the brand new SIG Tread. This is the first rifle I ever owned. And SIG uh, just redropped it and a whole, like a brand new updated uh, version of it. So we're gonna uh, have a little bit of fun with it and uh, see how she performs. So we are, uh, we swapped out the uh, SIG flash hider and put on their other flash hider or you know their other muzzle device that actually works alongside with their slx so we'll be running it with the slx as well but uh i wanted to just first shoot it as is and uh go from there so let's just see how she shoots yeah, she's pretty good i don't need to make no adjustments honestly uh I'll even show you where I shot at from this distance. You know, uh, it's probably was, I've already zeroed this. I don't know, bro. I don't know what to say, but <laughs> I was shooting right here and I shot these right here. So I'm not shooting precision right now. Um, I'm good. I'm happy with that for the most part, just off the back. But we are running the uh, primary arms SLX one to six and uh, really nice paired with this one right here. So. With that being said, let's have some fun. We got five shots. We're gonna see how this sounds with the SLX. And as I stated before, the SLX is not that quiet, but its purpose is not to be quiet. And that's what I learned later on its priority is the flow through of gases compared to like my Omega that's gonna blow gas all in my face. The, uh, the SLX, you won't see that much gas coming out of the actual uh, 
chamber. It'll come more so out of the front of the muzzle. I mean, literally nothing was coming out of there. Everything goes out the front. It's a big can, but this one in particular is meant for 308 or 762 by 39 as well, which is featured on the spear. And, uh, you know, it does its job. It's a little bit quiet, a little bit, but you're gonna have some fun with it. So, man, so far it's been fun. I want to do one more thing because I didn't know about this little trick or whatever. And it's about running your suppressor wet, right? So apparently it's going to be kind of hard to run it wet with this uh, muzzle on it. But I guess, you know, the trick is if you run it wet, it'll get a little bit more quiet. However, it's kind of hard to run it. Usually the end cap would be on the end so I could do it a little bit easier, but I don't th know if that's the case, but that should be something. I wanna see how quiet it sounds now when she's wet. So I guess we're going to shoot, I'm gonna shoot sub straight out the gate with it wet because I don't wanna ruin it the first time it being quiet. So we'll shoot, we'll shoot the first three subsonic and then the last three supersonic just to see how much more quiet she is when she's wet. All right, hopefully I'm doing this right. If not, I'm ready for the comments. She's wet, she's wild, no pun intended. 